Okay, this is Ed Titus from the Home Theater Channel. I haven't seen you guys in a while because my computer's been down and I was running Vista and I had to get rid of that crap because I thought that it was going to do some good by now, but it's not. It's still crap. So I took that back out and I put back in XP. And now I'm working on a new project. And I'll show you a little glimpse of that. It's not quite finished, but I can show you what I'm doing with that. It's uh, the Linux Media Center. I installed it in the uh, old computer that I had, a Pantene 4 computer, and it started loading. Um, I had to switch a hard drive. It's not seem to take in the, um, the TV tuner card, though. That's not working. But uh, I did get it to start playing the DVDs, and it sees the uh, Windows network files, share files in XP, but I can't seem to, when I click on them, I can't seem to make the video play. So that's what I'm doing so far. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Linux Media Center here, sort of the uh, you know, keypad here on screen. Let's you do stuff like lighting, sleep mode, video, TV, you know, your phone, basic stuff like that. It also has um, Linux. This is all based off a of Linux system. It also has. Um, the Linux desktop inside of it, Kubuntu. We'll take a look at that. And pause this for a second. Okay, I wanted to pause this for a second. I want to bring up my remote control, bring it down to more. Click on that. And it'll take you to this little scene here. You go to advanced option and it'll bring you to the screen here and all the way in the right hand side see the desktop and click on that and there you have it that's the desktop Let me give you a little closer look at that now I can go online and do all the stuff you can see the DVD I got playing and sitting in there and all that stuff like that if I push, we're using the uh, Windows remote control, it's working inside of it, and up top there, you see the um, the IR receiver on top there, which is working with it, and when you push the um, start button, push that, Normally it goes back to home, but uh, I see something here. Push back. Go back to the screen here. All right, back to the button. When you push the start button, screen off. Start button again screen on. Sorry button. Okay, let's go um, take you to where the DVDs are. Okay. No. Well, I'll push the TV. No. Get to see the TV up. That's it. Okay. Video. Man on fire. All right. Let's move that over there. Just want to show you that. Man on fire. Click on that. Man on fire. Hit play. You 
can see the video starting now at first it didn't work you know it wouldn't play the DVDs because it doesn't play any D DVD with encryption in it in the media center but when you go to the um, the website page media center web they show you how to turn it on but you know due to the laws and stuff like that you gotta watch yourself see here we go it's playing Let's put the fast forward on that. And this is Linux, and this is my Windows. Just to let you know that I do have the DVD function up working, and I'm going to try to add the storage box to this, and so I can see the, my video files on my storage box. And once I get that up and working, I'll let you know how that worked out, and give you an upgrade on some two new DVDs that I just I purchased not too long ago. Versus Predator, the second one in Blu-ray, special edition, and War, which is a very good movie. So, once again. Thank you for watching the Home Theater channel. Just wanted to keep you an update because I haven't posted in a while. So that's what I'm working on right now. And uh, I keep you posted. Until next time. Thank you.